Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to add the media server functionality to your TV box. I'll tell you what you need hardware wise and also what software you need so that to enable the media server on your TV box, how to set up the software and then we'll be testing it on my TV by accessing the media server from the TV to show you how it works. So let me start first by telling you what is the hardware you need. Of course, you need a TV box. In my example, I'll be using the Superbox S5 Pro, but the instructions I'm gonna show you apply to any also TV box that you have, Android TV box. And also you'll be needing an external drive to put the media files on it. So the media files can be video files, they can be music files, and they can be also pictures. Here I'm using this 128 gigabytes USB key that is formatted in NTFS. You can also use a USB key or an external hard drive that is formatted NTFS, FAT32, EXFAT or any other file system that your TV box understands. So now let me show you how to set up all this. So first make sure that the TV box is turned on and then insert the USB key or the external hard drive in the USB port of the TV box. If your TV box has a USB 3.0 port, it's better to insert it in the USB 3.0 port like it is the case with the S5 Pro here. Now that the TV box is turned on and the external hard drive or USB key is inserted, we need to install an application called Kodi. So open the Google Play Store. So here on the super box, it is under the App Store. And this is a Play Store. And search for an application called Kodi. Kodi. So this is Kodi here, the first one. Let's install it. While Kodi is being installed, I wanted to tell you that in order for you to access the media server on your TV box, the TV box and the device that you'll be using to access the media server should be on the same Wi-Fi network. So now Kodi is installed. This is all the software you need. We're going to open Kodi and I'm going to show you how to set it up. So let's open it. And in Kodi, you need first to set it up as a media server. So go to setup on the top and then choose services. And under services, go to UPnP DLNA and then make sure that it is enabled. And under enable UPnP support, go to share my libraries and toggle it to on also. So now that we enabled the media server, which is UPnP on the TV box using Kodi, we need to share the library that is on the USB key. So let's go back here. So press back on your remote control and here go to media and then library under library you have videos music and pictures so i'm gonna add videos here for the sake of this video so select videos and then you notice that the tv box automatically read the usb key so my usb key is a top cell 128 so i'm gonna long press on ok on the remote control so that to tell Kodi to index the library so this is what i'm gonna do so now you'll have this pop-up dialog box. Go to set content. And under set content, this directory contains selected. And then choose movies. And here we need to change two settings still. You have something called choose information provider. If you leave it to on each time, you're going to refresh the library or the library when it refreshes automatically, it will go to the internet and try to get the information for the movies. And if you have, of course, like personal videos also, it will go to the internet to try to get information, which is a waste of time. So here we're going to change this, select it, and then choose local information only. And then the next setting, you need to make sure that scan recursively is enabled so that if you have subfolders and folders, so that the scan will go through the folders. And that is all you need to do. So let's go to OK. And here you are prompted to refresh the library. So select yes. So let's go back here. And here I want to show you an option that you need to enable so that if you update the USB key, like you add videos on it, or even folders and movies within folders, that always it will be updated. So go to update library on startup and enable it so that it can refresh the library each time you change something on the USB key. So this is for the video library. If you added also music and you enabled the music sharing, you need also to enable it here. This is not our case here. 
So now everything was configured. Now you need to make sure that Kodi is always started on your Android TV box so that the media server will be available. On Superbox, unfortunately, there is no option to do this. And within Kodi also, there is no option to do this. But if you have other TV boxes or if you use other third party programs, you can also set up the automatic launch of Kodi on boot. Also, I wanted to mention that the fact of letting Kodi running in the background of the TV box or the fact of installing Kodi, it will not affect the functioning of your TV box in any way. So if somebody is watching something on the TV box, they can continue watching whatever they want and someone else can access the media library from any device on your Wi-Fi network. So now let's go to my TV and then we're going to see how to access the media library from the TV. So this here is my Roku TV. It is true that I am showing you this on my Roku TV, but it will work on any TV. Just use the media player of the TV and choose a DLNA server or UPnP server. And also if you have any device on your network, you just have to install VLC if they don't have a media player. And then in VLC, just go also to UPnP or DLNA and you're gonna find your media server there. So here in the Roku TV, go to Roku Media Player. And in Roku Media Player, choose the type of media that you wanna play. So if you wanna play video, choose video, audio or photo. Here I'm gonna choose video. And this is a Kodi player. So you see how it detected it automatically. So I'm gonna select it. And then I'm gonna select video library files and this is the usb key so select it and here i have all my videos in folders so i'm gonna play any video so this is a video here that i'm gonna play this is a super box. and you see how the video plays without any problem let me know in the comment section below if you enabled the media server on your tv box and how was your experience doing this? I want to thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.